I'd like to show you how to make a Microsoft Word document accessible. First thing we're going to do is go to File, and you'll notice Info is highlighted already. What we want to do is we want to go to Check for Issues right here. Click on that, and then we want to check Accessibility. Now you can see here on the right that it's giving us some errors. So as soon as I click, it says Missing Alternate Text. Click for Picture 1, and you can see right here uh, that it's highlighted that. Now the neat thing is down on the bottom here, it says why do you have to fix it, and then it says how to fix it, which I think is great, because you never have to remember how to do this. So I'm going to right click on the object, go down to Format Picture, and then here where it says alternate text, I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, but If you don't get rid of that, what's going to happen is the screen reader is going to start reading this, HTTP colon, okay, that kind of thing. So we don't want that. So this is a Microsoft Word logo. Okay, so that's all we need. There's no other description for that. We're going to click on close. Okay, now you notice that the error went away. For the table, same thing. Now when you're working with a table, what you want to do is you want to describe what you want someone to see out of this table. So you're not just saying, uh, you know, the first column is criteria, the second column. What you want to see is, I want to give a summary of the table. Okay, so in this table we're looking at certain features and remarks and explanations. So again, down here, it reminds you how to do it. Right click on the table, okay, go down to table properties and you're going to go to your alternate text. Okay, so this is a criteria table and the description you will put here. So this table uh, demonstrates features in Microsoft Word. Okay. Now, of course, if you're the creator of the document, it's much easier because you know what the table is for. So trying to do this for someone else's document is a little difficult. Okay? Now you notice here as well, there's no table row specified for this table, so I click on it. And the reason we have to do that is because the screen reader, again, allows a student who's visually impaired, for example, to jump to a table easily if there is a header row. So what I've done is, as soon as I click on the table, you notice these two things. I go to Layout, and here, Repeat Header Row. Now, if this extended over to the next page, it would also carry that title as well. So I would go through, and then I would do the same thing here. Repeat Header Row, another one, Repeat Header Row. Okay. Then I have a Merge Cell. Now, here, you notice, it's even though it's a repeated header row, the merging causes some difficulty again with the screen reader. So down on the bottom it says what I'm going to have to do is split it. Now if you notice up here, again the table tools, I can split the cells. I need two columns, one row. Okay, And then I could move, maybe move part of this text over here instead. Um, again, if you're the t table creator, you will know how to do that. Now for the hyperlink text, if I click here, again, I don't want the computer to say HTTP, okay, what I want it to do instead is I want it to say what the website is. So I'm going to select the link like it says to do here, and I can go down here and edit the hyperlink. And what I want it to display up here is Microsoft Word Enable Information for Accessibility, because that's what it is. Again, if you're the one who's creating the document, it's much easier to do this. You see now how that displays. That's what the screen reader is going to read. And of course, if you control click, it will actually bring you to that website. So um, all of these things here, as soon as you click on it, it will tell you how to fix it in the bottom. So that's really important. Here it says that the title is too long. Uh, you know, again, you may want to press enter, make it into two titles, that kind of thing. Um, you know change it so it tells you what the errors and it also tells you why you need to fix it so hopefully this helps have a great day